Welcome to today's review. I think the product we're looking at today is an especially exciting one because it marks Speedo's big return to the tech suit industry. If I'm completely honest, since the ban of the full body suits in 2010, Speedo's journey has been a little bit rocky. That being said, you can't deny just how much pedigree this brand has in the market. If you look back to the late 90s when they released the Aquablade, that really was the first tech suit. And in 2000, when they released the Fast Skin Full Body Suit, they changed the game forever. They'd done that once again in 2008 when they released the Laser Racer, the full body suit with the polyurethane panels, which ultimately led to brands taking the mick with what you could do with the technology and getting them banned in 2009. In 2010, they started off the Jammer era with just their Laser Racer Elite which was the same as their full body suit, just lacked the polyurethane panels. They then tried to change the game again in 2012 when they released the Fast Skin 3, but that unfortunately was a massive flop. They released these ridiculous bug-like goggles and these high-waisted jammers that just really didn't get people excited and the performance didn't match the hype either, seeing as not many top-level athletes ever chose to wear them. The Laser X come a few years later and that was a slightly softer release and unfortunately I never actually got to try the suit but I do have one now and I plan on using it next weekend. In 2016, suits really started to step up a notch in terms of performance. And that's ultimately what led to me making this YouTube channel because for the first time I found tech suits to actually impact performance to an obvious level, which meant you really had to wear some over the others. Before that, I found there were small differences in terms of comfort and compression, but mostly it was down to what you preferred. It was obvious which suits were the best because some non-sponsored athletes were wearing them to the very highest levels of performances. People like Anthony Irvin, Joseph Schoolin, and Caleb Dressel all wore the Mizuno GX Sonic 3 when they won the gold medals at the Olympics in Rio 2016 and the World Championships in Budapest in 2017. I was surprised when a couple of them athletes, namely Caleb Dressel and Joseph Schoolin, signed with Speedo last year and therefore would not be able to wear the Mizuno suit that launched their big breakouts on the international scene. I know that these people cared about what suits they were wearing because in the months leading up to Caleb Dressel's sponsorship announcement, he was seen at different meets wearing a range of different suits with brands such as Arena, Tier, Speedo and Mizuno. Signed of Speedo, I was confused because I didn't think at the time the Speedo Laser Racer X or Laser Racer Elite 2 was near the best suit on the market. What that led me to believe was something big was coming from Speedo and that turned out just to be the case. This year they started a teaser campaign and then on the 15th of February they announced the world of Speedo Faskin Laser Racer Pure Intent. The Pure Intent is actually one of two suits. There is a cheaper more versatile Pure Valor that is based on the Laser Elite. But for today, we're gonna to talk about their flagship suit, the Pure Intent that I have right here. This is the standard cut of Pure Intent and it comes at about 279 pounds. There is also a high-waisted version at 289 pounds. There is a lot of technological advancement in this suit and I'm really, really excited to tell you about it. It is a huge leap forward from Speedo. They've done a lot of cool things, really trying to make this suit the best performance wise that it can possibly be. They have used two different types of fabric. You have a fabric down the hamstrings, it almost has this honeycomb texture that you can actually feel is slightly 3D when you run your finger over it. This is apparently targeting certain areas of your body to have a better interaction with the water. Then on the front, you have a, a material that is slightly more similar to the Laser Racer X, and this is more of your papery material. You then have two seams down the side that have an increased compression down the, the sides of your legs where you'd want it. So you have one sheet of material at the front, then you have the first of these real plasticky thick seams here running down your leg here. You then have the same material again on the side, another one of these big seams, and then on the back, you have this honeycomb texture, which is dual layered. The dual layer is huge. It really does make the suit more buoyant. So to really assist with that, down the back of the suit, and then you have this, this strip of tape. This tape is not a seam. This is, this is specifically to help with the up kick when you're swimming and really create that snap effect of turns and blocks as well. Both materials used are a combination of polyamide and elastane. At the front, you have a 66% polyamide with 34% elastane makeup. And on the back, you have a 73% polyamide with a 27% elastane. Right now, the suit just comes in black with these gold seams, but soon there will be a rather cool pink version, which will combine pink at the front and then black on the sides for a really awesome looking effect. This video should be being released on the 4th of March 2019, the same day the first batch of these will be being shipped out. So as you can see, I've gone and put the suit on. 
the suit I'm wearing is a size 25, so a little bit smaller than the sizes I'd go with other brands. Just as a reference, I use a size 26 Arena Carbon Air and a size 28 Carbon Pro and Carbon Flex. I use a size medium in Mizuno. I use a size 26 in Finesse, just as a bit of a gauge. So I generally go smaller with Speedo than I do with the other brands. As already mentioned, this is the standard cut version. It's slightly cheaper than the high-waisted version. But as someone who generally prefers a high-waisted suit, I would really, really like to try that in the future. I think Speedo's cut is quite famous. And if you actually look on the blocks in any world race, you can quickly identify what is Speedo because they're generally a little bit lower on the waist, as you can see here. And they're generally quite high above the kneecaps, which is something I like. But these really do take it to the extreme, especially when you look at some of the bigger guys wearing these small Speedo suits. So that is why for coverage reasons, I would definitely like to try out the high-waisted as well, just to give that little bit of core compression I like. The other reason I wanna try the high-waisted is that I have experienced in races with this suit, a little bit of water leaking down the back of the suit. Now, I also read about this in Mark Gangloff's review of the suit on swimoutlet.com, but I have spoke to Speedo about this and apparently it was a little bit of a fitting issue by myself because of the dual layering on the back of the suit, you actually have to get your hands in and pull the dual layer up, not just the outside. So if you if you put on tech suits before, you probably know you, you, you sort of pinch the, uh, the suit and you pull it up until it's obviously in place comfortably. But on this suit, you actually have to get your hands in the back and do the same, pinch from the inside and pull up so that the dual layer, the internal layer is as highly pulled up as the out external layer. With that done, I have found a much better fit and I've not actually had that water leaking issue ever again. The suit definitely does the uh, latest trend of trying to combine comfort and compression. I feel great targeted compression from these two bands here. I feel that snap effect when I walk from that internal band on the hamstring. Definitely the material at the back is a little bit softer, a little bit more flexible and definitely gives a little bit more comfort there as well. What I will say though is when I got tired at the end of the race, the compression really did come through and help me get to the end. And for that reason, I would say it's definitely at the higher end of compression, much more than some other suits out there. The water repellency of the suit is great um, and there's again slight differences between the two different materials as you can see in the, in the video. And Without doubt, the performance of this suit is awesome. In my first race with it, I medaled at the Middle East Championships with a silver in the 100 butterfly. And then on the second race with it, I smashed a all-time personal best in the 50 meter freestyle, actually knocking 0.4 off my best time, which was just ludicrous. I felt a big surge as I dived in, really snapping and exploding off the blocks, and my underwater phase felt absolutely awesome. My hips were definitely higher than usual, and I felt like I was surfing along the water. The internal tape definitely starts to create that, that up kick effect, and at the end of my 100 fly, I did feel it a little bit, but I think the two tapes in Mizuno and Finis definitely helps a little bit more than that one internal tape with this suit. A reason I think it's so important that they make two cuts of this is that while I am someone who loves the high-waisted version of suits and generally prefer that sort of fit, I know some people just wouldn't try the new Finis and Mizuno suits because they're so put off about having to think a little bit closer to their belly button. What Speedo have done here is they've basically enabled themselves to be absolutely relevant to everyone in the world. And if someone doesn't want to have that, that extra coverage, they can get this version of the suit. And if someone does like that higher waist, well then they're covered as well. Some things I have noted is that the buoyancy is good but it, it could be a little bit better, mainly because the, the dual layering actually has this sort of seam coming down here. So the dual layering is only on this honeycomb texture, as you can see. So whereas on suits like the Finis, the dual layering goes directly here. And on the Mizuno GX Sonic 3 multi-racer version, you actually have the seam coming round. So you only have about this much without dual layering on the whole suit. So the majority of the suit is dual layered. And that's what makes it just so ridiculously buoyant. Without going any further with comparison, because I'm going to do a top five tech suit video in the near future, I will say that what Speedo have done is climbed the ranks and put themselves very much at the top echelon of tech suits. This suit can go toe to toe with the best. And while it may not quite be the best just yet, they have made themselves very much relevant once again. And that is very obvious why people like Joe Schooling and Caleb Dressel felt confident being able to sign with Speedo last year with obviously the knowledge that something like this was coming along shortly. It is also worth mentioning why this is a tighter, more compressing suit with a lot of uh, enhanced fe features and something that they recommend for sprinters. There is obviously the more comfortable, more flexible and slightly lower compression levels, pure valor. 
which again I'm hoping to review soon. That is also a slightly cheaper option, which is always nice to have. Even though they've said it's made for sprinters, I would feel absolutely comfortable wearing this for any race out there. And while I have only personally used it in sprint events so far, I don't see there would be any issue wearing this for a 1500. It's not that tight that it would make like cut off blood circulation or anything crazy like that. And it's still flexible enough to wear for something like a 400 IM. I've got hip flexibility and could swim breaststroke comfortably um, and it's uh, uh, already proven to be great for free back and fly. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. Also subscribe to the channel, tell your teammates to as well and if you want to follow me on Instagram for more content check out at the swimsuit guy 95.